I'm still feeling it. In fact, I'm really. I've never before been to Norway, and now I'm here at this beloved presence of the sturdy. Clearly, he's a man of great force of character. Rather well dressed, too, in bronze, I might add. His motto is less of the verbs. That means a lot to me, even though I can't quite translate it. It has a sound that inspires me to better things, to seek a better life, a better Norway, a better world. Stats Minister, Sturtings President, may I be half so successful and leave half so bold a mark upon the world. Thank you. Thank you. Do you remember the noble Indian with the tear running down his cheek as he looked upon the desecration of the sacred lands of his people? Here, at this abandoned nickel mine, we see desecration in Norway hardly a place where we would expect it. This progressive country constantly seeks to improve the life of its people, to maintain its beauty. And here we have a scar upon the land. What's to be done? Action must be taken. The money that comes from the North Sea must renew the land. This site must be reclaimed, must be revered. This desecration must be removed. If I had a nickel in my pocket, I wouldn't pay it to buy this nickel mine. Look at it. Look at all the slag. Is this the Norway that we want? Nickel mining became unproductive at the site. The managers walked away, leaving the slag, and we've seen many other things as well. Sturty, past legislation prevents this. You've shown your ability to plan and to act. This shall not stand. Jürgen Lofland wants the city cleaned up, and cleaned up immediately. I don't care about your wars, your First World War, your Second World War, your Korean War, your Vietnam War, your Iraqi War, your Afghan War. Send troops where you may, Norway. The first priority is cleaning up the dumps, getting rid of that nickel slag that shames the birthplace of Jürgen Lefland. Act now, Stetting. He was yours. You owe him no less. <laughs>